Hello and welcome everybody to episode 3 of the Duke Dynasty here on Wide Left Gaming. This week, your Duke Blue Devils take on the Northwestern Wildcats. Northwestern comes into this game at 0-1. They took the L last week to Cal 28-23. Quite frankly, this is not the best Northwestern team we've seen of recent years. Their quarterback, Hunter Johnson, simply put, can't throw. He can run, so we're going to have to contain him but he really struggles putting the ball in the air. And then Evan Hull at running back and Stephon Robinson Jr. at wide receiver are both solid, but if we can contain Johnson, I think we can contain them as well. But where the true strength of this team lies is in their DBs. At corner, Cameron Mitchell and AJ Hampton are both solid. And then Brandon Joseph looks like a surefire first rounder out at free safety. So we're gonna have to try to keep the ball away from them today as best we can, but Super looking forward to taking on this team. I think we can get one in the win column. Looks like Herbie's picking the cats. And with that, let's go down to the field. Welcome to beautiful Wallace Wade Stadium for the first time, folks. Northwestern won the toss. They're going to defer to the second half. John Tavis Robertson deep to receive as usual. He takes it out. And he will be tackled around the 23. Short return to start the game here. The Blue Devils come out and spread. Holmberg hands off, Mateo Durant. Nice little gain of four to start the game. We'll take that for the first play. All right, play number two. Four men wide, Holmberg in the shotgun. Throws a little bit behind Jarrett Gardner. I think if he throws that in front of him, it's a first down. We just got inconsistency problems with our quarterbacks. Obviously, we gave Holmberg the start today. Holmberg throws, third down, incomplete again. Decided to give him the start again. He's going to have a short leash. Let's just put it that way. Two, three bad drives, and we can always go to Diamant, who had a decent show against Alabama. Obviously, take that with a grain of salt. You know, we were down 40 at that point. But here comes Stephon Robinson Jr. Had a nice day against Cal. Obviously, they lost that game. Northwestern comes out in the pistol. The tight end, Pew in motion. Johnson hands off. Hall breaks it outside. Nice little 14-yard rush and a first down. I like the pistol formation they came out with. Hunter in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, takes it outside. Little read option. Goes for 13. Man, cheerleaders are already doing flips. Can't be seeing that on the first drive. All right, play number three for the Cats. Johnson again in shotgun. Hull takes the handoff. Man, Jeremiah Lewis completely whiffed in the hole. Whiffed. And then try to tackle him and got that broken. Johnson in with Claire, the backup running back to his right. Hands off to Claire and he is stuffed. Stuffed. Christian Rory with the tackle for loss. Second and 11. Johnson drops back. Throws to the tight end, Mangiri. He gets it all the way down to the one. Northwestern looking like they're going to score here on the first drive. We go three and out, and they're going to score. Classic Duke football. We're going to bring the pressure here. Johnson again in the shotgun. Just threw it away. He felt the heat coming. All right, second and goal from the one-yard line. Still in the shotgun. Johnson takes. He stopped short. One-yard loss. 
And that is Jalen Alexander, our strong safety on the tackle. All right, third and goal. Can we hold him? Johnson fakes the handoff. Why did Lumi Young drop back? He literally backed up. Of course, they're not going to give us a replay of that angle. 7 0 Northwestern. Pat Fitzgerald is fired up. Obviously, Wildcats held us to a three and out last possession. Holmberg comes out in the shotgun. Little option. Keeps it. Runs for eight. Second and two. Durant takes the handoff. Five yards and a first down. There we go. Mascots hype. Jared Garner in motion. Holmberg hands off to Durant. Got a little space. Tries to juke. Juke doesn't really work, but that's still seven. Duke's trying to establish the run here. I mean, we can't throw the ball. Here's going to be another handoff to Durant. Oh, he's got some room to work. 14-yard rush. Moving the chains. First pass of the possession. And Holmberg completes it over the middle to Jared Garner. And Holmberg's got his first completion of the afternoon. Holmberg again in shotgun with Durant out to his right. Motions Merwidi out to the left. It's another handoff to Durant, who gets the first down and six. All right, here's the Blue Devils on first and 10. Little option play, Holmberg pitches out to Durant, and he's tackled, no gain. Second and 10 here. Holmberg looking to pass, throws. Jake Bobo breaks the tackle. Oh, tries to juke. Nice little catch and run. Almost had the touchdown. Could have made one more man miss. First and 10. Holmberg gives to Durant. Runs into a blocker. I think he could have gotten to the pylon if he didn't run into a blocker. All right, it's going to be second and four. Goal to go. What will Duke do? Duke looking to pat. Should have been intercepted. Jalen Calhoun was running wide open. Third and four. Fakes the handoff. Runs into a blocker and is stuffed. You've got to get in on that. Unbelievable. And it looks like the Duke offense is going to stay out on the field here. Holmberg's going under center. This is a little bit of a unique look. A little different from what we usually do. Holmberg hands off left to Durant, and he punches it in. It's going to be a tie game here, pending the extra point. We might have a competitive game today here, folks. Charlie Ham kicks it through. We're all even here in Durham. Back to the pistol. Johnson takes the snap, hands to Evan Hall. He's stuffed after one. We're going to try to bring some pressure here from here on out. Force Johnson to use his arm. Drops back to pass, throws out. And Mousy makes a nice tackle. Third and one. All right, third and one. In the shotgun, Duke's moving around on defense. Johnson hands off. And Hall spins off a tackle. Gets six in the first. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Northwestern seven, Duke seven. We got a game, folks. All right, first and 10. Duke's lining up in the nickel. Johnson in shotgun. Tight end in motion, drops back, throws. And there's Stefan Robinson. Robinson had two touchdowns. Big game last week, so obviously we need to try to keep him in check today. Probably a little easier said than done. Johnson hands off. Hall breaks a tackle. 
And there's Jeremiah Lewis on the stop. Only a gain of four. All right. Here's second and six. Johnson looks, throws. And that is Malik Washington on the catch. It's first down. Northwestern's marching again. I think our defense has forced two non-touchdown scoring drives all season. Granted, we played Alabama week one. Hull is brought down by Mousy. Stayed alive laying on Mousy there for a little bit. Thought he might try to get up. Second and seven. Three men wide. Washington in motion. Johnson drops back. And that is over Andrew Clare's head. All right. Now third and seven. Duke shows blitz. Johnson steps up, throws, throws it away. Let's see if they kick. I have no idea how their kicker is. So this should be interesting. And it's up and good. 10-7 Northwestern. All right. Here comes the Duke offense again. Holmberg hands to Eli Pancol on the jet sweep. Gain of seven. It's a good start to the drive. All right, and Duke's going to come out five wide, but Durant is on the field in the slot, and it's going to be a run. Holmberg gets one. That was kind of a broken play. All right, so now for third and two. Marweedy in motion. Holmberg hands off. Mateo Durant, give it to your stud. All right, first and ten. Holmberg drops back. Throws low. Dangerous throw, but Jarrett Garner comes up with it for the 13-yard reception. That is why you throw low, friends. All right, here come the Blue Devils. First and ten again. Looking like another pass. Holmberg drops back. Gets Marweedy in the flat, and he is rocked. But picks up four. All right, second and six, Blue Devils. Holmberg drops back again. Throws. Bobo. Space. Running. And he's going to score. Jake Bobo, 45-yard touchdown reception. And the Blue Devils go on top. 14-10 pending the extra point. Look at this. I don't know if he meant to do that. Something tells me he didn't. That was just a bad throw that Bobo made a great play on. But we scored nonetheless. We'll take that all day. And here's Ham with the PAT. And it is good. 14-10 Blue Devils. And here's another fun one. North Carolina all the way down to 23 after last week. Tied up 7-7 with Middle Tennessee State. See what happens. We'll keep an eye on that. Almost four minutes left in the first half. Here comes the Northwestern offense. Let's see what kind of drive they can put together. Johnson, back to pass, first play. Throws. He almost got sacked. Johnson, hands off. Evan Hull. Gains four. Third and six. Well, we're starting to stop this run. Let's see if we can do it again. Johnson drops back. It's a screen. Evan Hall brought down. Loss of three. Fourth and nine. Duke will get the football back with a chance to stretch out this lead. What a tackle from Josh Blackwell. All right, here comes the Devils offense. Three minutes left in the first half. Holmberg and shotgun. Drops back. Throw. Should have been picked. Horrible decision. That was Northwestern's fourth corner, Garrett Hollis. I think if it was anybody else, that's probably a pick. We get lucky. Second and ten. Bobo in motion into the backfield. Holmberg hands off to Mateo Durant. has got some space. Tries to juke. Spins off a tackle and is promptly brought down. All right. Third and three. Let's see what we got in our bag of tricks. 
We're going five wide again with Durant outside. Homer drops back, throws to Durant, who holds on despite the big hit. Five yards and a first down. He can do everything, can he? All right, here come the Blue Devils. First and 10. 219 left in the first half. Calhoun in motion. Here comes the backup running back, Jordan Waters. Five yards. We're going to try to mix him in a little bit more. I know he got some snaps in week one. He looked all right. Nobody looked good. Holmberg drops back to pass into the flat. Marweedy only gets one despite the broken tackles. Third and four. What will the Blue Devils do here? Holmberg back in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Blitz coming. He gets rid of it. That could have been a fumble. That was linebacker Peter McIntyre on the QB hit for Northwestern. And because we're in no man's land and because we didn't take the sack there, we're going to go five wide on fourth down and try to convert. Holmberg back to pass. Looks, throws as Eli Pankol gets close. They're going to give it to him. First down. Moves the chains. The drive is still alive. Minute and 13 on the clock. Holmberg and shotgun. Looks. Throws. Nice throw. Don't get to say that very often with Holmberg. Derek Garner. Nice throw. Nice catch. And the Blue Devils are marching. We're in striking distance now. All right, Blue Devil first down. Holmberg to pass again. Throws over the middle. Calhoun. Couldn't quite turn around fast enough. Could have had more. And the Blue Devils will call timeout here with 35 seconds left to go in the first. All right, second and five. 35 seconds on the clock. Holmberg drops back to pass yet again. Throws over the middle. Marweedy gets to the middle of the field. Nine yards. Got a first down. That clock is ticking, though. And they're going to stop the clock on the first down. Blue Devils still go hurry up. Trying to catch his Northwestern defense off guard. Going to let the clock run a little bit. Holmberg, hands off. Durant, up the middle. Stop just short. And Duke is going to use another timeout. All right, second and goal from the one. 14 seconds to play in the first half of this one. Holmberg turns, hands off, and Durant punches in it in again. Second touchdown of the day. Medeo Durant is going off. We love to see it. We go into halftime with the Duke Blue Devils, your leaders, 21 to 10 here in Durham. Great first half for the Blue Devils. Things are looking good for the second. Here's going to be some highlights from the first half. Enjoy them, and we'll be back in a second. Here's your halftime stats. We're blowing them out in everything. Passing yards, rushing yards, time of possession, no turnovers. Pretty perfect first half other than the you know first three and out, but gotta be pleased. Especially after last week's first half. All right, here comes the Northwestern offense to begin the second half. Johnson hands off and he is brought down. What a tackle from Shaka Hayward. Quickly in the backfield. Let's see if we can keep this up. Northwestern. Johnson drops back to pass. Looks underneath and Kurtz drops the ball. All right. Can we force a three and out? Two men in the backfield. It's going to be a screen. Hall takes it in space. And he is brought down short of the sticks. What a tackle from Josh Blackwell. 
that might be the play of the day. What a stud. And let's see what the offense can do. They've been cooking so far. All right, first and 10. Got two backs in the backfield. Holmberg pitches. Waters got the ball. Cuts out. Breaks the tackle. Forced out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down. Nice little 13-yard carry for Jordan Waters. And here's the Blue Devils, first and 10. Holmberg drops back to pass, throws. And there's Jalen Calhoun with the five-yard reception. All right, second and five. Drive is looking good so far. Let's see if the Blue Devils can go down and score again. Holmberg got Jarrett Gardner underneath. Northwestern struggles to tackle him. And they've got a man down injured. I thought that was going to be Gardner. Marwidi motions outside. Durant trucks a man before being brought down. Six yard carry. It's going to be second and four. And Duke goes hurry up. Holmberg throws. Gardner trucks a man to the pylon. Dives. They're going to mark him short. I don't know how he was short. He looked like he was diving for the end zone. Yeah. I guess he just didn't get there. All right, and here's the Blue Devils knocking on the door. Holmberg hands off left, and Durant punches it in for his third touchdown of the day. It's looking like it's going to be Duke 28, Northwestern 10. This one's quickly getting out of reach for the Cats. Look at the students throwing the mascot up in the air. Johnson hands off, Hall up the middle. Close to the first down, they're going to give it to him. Took an absolute shot at the end of that. Duke looks like they're going to bring the pressure here. Johnson hands off again, and Hull is brought down. That is Lumi Young on the tackle, his first tackle for a loss on the day. Second and 11. Empty backfield. Johnson drops back, throws, and Holman makes a diving catch before he's dragged down by Shaka Hayward. It's going to be third and seven. Jeremiah Lewis comes down, drops back. It's looking like another screen. And Evan Hull is stopped yet again. I think we've gone three for three on screens. Fourth and three. I don't know if they're going to punt. We're going to go safe here. I would fake this. No. They punt deep. Robertson brought down. Dominant performance so far. Hopefully we can go down and score again. Duke now. First and ten. Holmberg hands off to Rant. Finding some room. Tries to juke again and is brought down. But gain of seven. It's going to be second and three. All right. Holmberg in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks for Mateo Duran on the outside. Gets close to a first down. It's going to be third and inches. All right, third and inches. Duke comes to the line. Holmberg is sacked. And that is Jeremy Miser on the sack. And that's going to end that drive. It looks like the exchange didn't go well. Just no time to throw. A minute 21 left in the quarter. Northwestern first and 10. Hunter in the pistol, Hall behind him. Backup tight end in motion, Hall. Gets 10. Nice run up the gut. All right, second and short. Johnson, Hall. First down, got some room. He got lit up. Here's Johnson again, keeps it, and he's brought down short. Second and seven upcoming. Only a three yard gain right there. All right, second and seven, Northwestern, man in motion. Johnson to pass again. Oh, man, Jerry's got some space, but no speed to take advantage of it. But Charlie Mangiri moves the chains. 
And it's going to be first and 10 from the 11 for Northwestern. Putting a drive together for the first time since the first quarter. Here we go, first and 10. Johnson running around, gets rid of it before he's sacked. And that was Ben Fry making him feel the pain. All right, second and 10, one second left in the third quarter. Johnson on the option keeper. Dorian Mousy brings him down. Only a gain of two. And that's going to end the quarter. Duke 28, Northwestern 10. But Northwestern is knocking on the door here. Let's see if they can convert. Got a third and eight upcoming. All right, here's Northwestern on that third and eight. Johnson, screen. Hall, Shaka Hayward brings him down for a loss. It's going to be fourth and 11. We've read the screen perfectly all day. Don't try to screen me. Fourth and 11. Looks like Northwestern's offense is going to stay on the field. Johnson takes the snap. Rolls. Throws. And it's picked! It's picked! That is Leonard Johnson in the back of the end zone. Just coming out of nowhere to snag the ball. And tries to kneel it down a couple times. They don't let him. He's just forced to step out of the back of the end zone. But it's going to be Duke ball on the 20. What a play on fourth down. Got first and 10. Holmberg hands off Durant. It's going to be a face mask. Can add 15 onto that one. All right, first and 10. Holmberg hands it off. And it's Waters this time. Jordan Waters goes for six. All right, second and four, empty backfield. Homer all by himself. Turns, throws. And it's Malik Bowen Sims. I know we said last week we were gonna try to get him some more playing time. He's moved up to fourth on the depth chart. So trying to give him some opportunities. All right, third and three. Homer drops back. Throws outside. It's a strike to Marweedy, the tight end. 17-yard completion for Holmberg. He has heated up. He's playing great. 17 for 22, 198 yards and a touchdown. Holmberg's making a decent case that he should be our starter for the rest of the year right here. First and 10. Jalen Calhoun in motion. It's a screen. Oh, no. Looks like Duke's going to fake the screen. And it is picked. Just as I was saying that it looks like Holmberg's made the case that he should be our starter for the rest of the year. He throws an ill-advised dart down the seam. And Jackson, the safety, just made easy work of that one. Now the Cats back on offense. Johnson steps back. He's hit. Oh, it's dropped. Stephon Robinson Jr., on the sideline, he could have had a big play. Instead, he drops it. It's going to be second and ten. Johnson back to pass again. It's another screen. Shaka Hayward throws down Evan Hall. Don't screen the Blue Devils. All right, now third and ten. Again, another pass. Johnson winds up, throws Washington had a step, but it's another drop. Malik Washington this time drops what could have been a touchdown. And it looks like Northwestern's going to be forced to punt again deep in their own territory. Two big plays instead are drops. Blue Devils will take it on their own 32. Holmberg fakes the handoff. He's going to run, and he is going to slide before he gets hit. That's just intelligent quarterback play. First and 10 following the nice Holmberg run. Say what you will about his arm. He can make plays on the ground. It's going to be a handoff to Rant. And he gets another six. But he is slow to get up. Durant appears to be hurt. Jordan Waters in the backfield now. Holmberg hands it to Waters. Goes left. Cuts right. Got some room to run. Can he get there? Brought down around the five. 
but not before a 42 yard rush for Jordan Waters. Let's look at this run again. Just finding some gaping room over on the right side of the field. What a nice carry. And now Duke's going to slow down the tempo a little bit. Try to burn some clock. Holmberg again hands off Waters. Gets tripped up. It's going to be a loss. All right, what can the Devils do here on second and goal? Holmberg drops back. And he ducks a sack. And he is brought down. A little bit of a team effort. They're going to credit it to Jason Gold Jr. The backup defensive tackle comes in and makes a play. At this point, Northwestern's probably playing for pride. 18-point game with you know almost two and a half minutes left. But I can tell you, Coach Kaminsky badly wants to score. Holmberg, third and goal. Drops back to pass. Throws low and Gardner, it slips through. It's going to be a touchdown for Jarek Gardner. His first of the season. I don't know how he fit that pass in there. Threw it low. Said a prayer. Touchdown. Big play for the Devils. I've had some fortunate plays today. First and 10 for the Cats. Johnson drops back. Another drop. For Stephon Robinson Jr. He has not had the day he expected. Alright, now second and ten. Johnson looks, throws, little bubble screen, Kurtz. Gets all the way to nine yard gain, third and one. If Duke gets a stop here, that's pretty much the end of the game. Johnson pitches Hull. Trucks our defender. That could have been it. Right at the marker. Hall, 14 rushes for 98 yards on the day. Under a minute and a half left. This one's all but over. But Northwestern's still trying to score. Johnson hands off backup running back Claire. And he is brought down for a loss by Lumi Young. I believe his second tackle for a loss on the day. Second and 10. Johnson hands off Hall. A little draw. Goes for 14. And Northwestern's still calling timeouts. Johnson hands off Hall. 15 yards. And another timeout. Northwestern's just trying to extend the game at this point. Here's Northwestern in the pistol. Two backs. Hall, another handoff, runs, breaks a couple tackles and scores. That will make the final look slightly more respectable. I think we can expect an onside kick. If we recover, that's the game. Here's the onside kick, and it is recovered by Jordan Waters, who covers it and is tackled. And that should be the game. And the Blue Devil offense is going to come up to the line in the victory formation. And Holmberg is going to take a knee. And that will do it. Your final score, Duke 35, Northwestern 17. Not great offensive production from Stefan Robinson Jr. today. The Blue Devils secondary was able to hold him in check. Mateo Durant is your player of the game. 17 carries, 89 yards, three touchdowns before he got hurt. Your Blue Devils are running off victorious for the first time on the year. Hopefully the first time of many in this series. Looks like Coach Kaminsky has an upgrade available. That's what happens when you get your first win. As for the individual stats, as I said before, Gunnar Holmberg was lights out. Definitely made a case for why he should be the starter going forward. Hunter Johnson couldn't throw the football. Evan Hull, really nice day. 17 carries, 145 yards. Mateo Durant was a stud. He would have gotten over 100 if he didn't get hurt. Three touchdowns. Holmberg had a nice day carrying the ball as well. Got sacked a couple times, so that's why that rushing total isn't great. Jordan Waters made a case for more snaps. That 42-yard rush was really impressive. 
Jared Gardner had a few nice plays on the day, including the touchdown. He had another one where he should have gotten in. Jake Marweedy had a really nice catch on a long third down in the fourth quarter. Bobo had the nice touchdown. Shaka Hayward again. Stalwart. Our middle linebacker making plays all over the field. Huge day. Lumi Young had a nice day as well. Josh Blackwell. Really impressed with our defense. Like I said, we're going to try to keep the skill trees balanced. So this upgrade's got to go to the game management tree. I think we're going to go with Road Warrior. Try to eliminate that controller vibration. I would have loved to use that on scouting. But with that said, hugely impressive performance here in week two. Your Blue Devils win. Next week, we have our conference opener. First game in the ACC for Coach Kaminsky. We play Georgia Tech. They're 1-0. Huge opportunity to get above 500 on the year. With that, I appreciate you guys watching as always. This was Sam with Wide Left Sports. And we'll see you next time. Peace.